Thanks to Project Treble, I got Android P 9.0 already running on my Galaxy S9. While Samsung will probably take another six months to update to Android P. All right, so what is Project Treble? Today, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what is Project Treble. Let's go do this, baby. All right, so Google has launched a new way of updating their Android OS operating system for those of you who don't know OS is. I'm um, starting in 2018 called Project Treble. Although Google uses pure 100% Android OS on their phones like the Pixel and the Pixel 2 I got here, all right, which runs pure Android OS. Menu manufacturers like LG, uh, Samsung, Huawei, um, show me. They all add their own UI skin, extra features, something like the Galaxy Note series. Um, it has an extra S Pen, which is obviously not part of the original Android code. All right, which means Android manufacturers like Samsung, LG, Huawei, Show Me, yada, yada, yada. They got to add their own extra code. So it's a custom code. They take the Android OS and then they'll stuff it with their custom code. Now, the problem is when Android updates their OS. For example, Android updated from Android 7.0 Nougat to Android 8.0 Oreo. Now what happens is, so let's say the Galaxy S7 had Android 7.0 Nougat. Let's say Google announces the next Android Oreo 8.0. What Samsung will have to do um, since they have so much custom code uh, in the Galaxy S7, they'll have to take the new Android 8.0 Oreo code, the new OS, and then they'll have to rebuild their whole operating system pretty much from scratch. Well, not completely from scratch, but there's a lot of issues where they're gonna have to make it compatible. Especially if on like the Galaxy Note, we're gonna have to make it compatible with the new code. This is why Samsung updates are slower than everybody else. The Galaxy S7, I think the last time it updated to Android 8.0 Oreo, it took like eight months. By the time Samsung comes out with 8.0 Oreo on their phones and pushes the OTA update to your phone, it's been almost another year and Google announces Android P 9.0. So it, it actually drives manufacturers crazy, especially if they have heavily modified code like Samsung. So what does Project Treble do? So basically Project Treble adds another layer or it separates the layer. If my hand is all the Samsung's modifications, and this is Google's pure Android OS. Before, they would make fried rice like this. So every time there's a new code, they'll have to make new fried rice. All right? Android 7.0 Nougat, make fried rice. Android 8.0 Oreo, make new fried rice. Android 9.0 Pie, they make pie mixed rice. Yeah, that sounds really bad, right? So how does Project Treble fix this? So now Google has separated those two layers. Um, so Samsung can keep their modifications separate from Android's original OS, all right? And when Android OS updates to 9.0, Samsung doesn't really have to do much because it's now separate. So whether Google updates from 9.0, 10.0, 11.0, Samsung can keep their modifications all right, which means every time Android updates their OS from now on, uh, most likely you'll be able to get that update instantly. Maybe not instantly, within a period of maybe a month. All right, which is great for users. You're gonna be able to get all the security updates, all the latest Android features. You no longer have to wait for these features because a lot of times Android updates improve your battery life, performance. For example, Android P9.0 has improved uh, battery efficiency by almost 30% by killing any apps that don't really need to be running. All right, as a whole, it makes Android better. And although I'm not sure on this, uh, eventually, for example, for Samsung, Samsung updates and Android updates could be separate, which means when new Android OS comes out, users can just simply update their Android OS. And then you got all the S Pen features, all the Samsung features. Um, when Samsung updates their features, they can update that too. All right. So possibly, I'm not 100% sure on this, but possibly users will be able to update their Android OS as soon as it comes out, just like Pixel phones, all right? Now, these are not scientific explanation. 
I just want to break it down for those of you who just want to understand what Project Treble is. All right, next let's talk about what does Project Treble mean for root and custom ROMs. So like I've showed you in the beginning of the video, I'm already running Android P on my Galaxy S9. It's a full Android P running nearly flawless. Now Project Treble also now uses this thing called GSI or Generic System Image. All right. Now, not all phones support Project Treble. Uh, most newer phones coming out from like June 2018 and on, they will all probably have Project Treble. The Galaxy S9 supports Project Treble or compatible. Phones like OnePlus 5, the 5T, the OnePlus 6, they all support Project Treble. You can also download an app called Treble Checker on Play Store. Um, if you have any device you bought within the last year, to see if your phone supports Project Treble. So go ahead and do that. Um, if your phone does support Project Treble, what you can do is install these GSI, Generic System Image, which is sort of like the system partition, or it's almost like a ROM, all right? Think of it as a generic custom ROM. But previously, you would need a specific ROM for your phone. For example, you couldn't install Galaxy Note 2 ROM on the Galaxy Note 3, all right? But now, with generic system images, or generic ROMs, you can use one ROM to install on any phone. So the GSI I installed on the Galaxy S9 here is not actually built for the Galaxy S9. It is for all the Androids, which is great. Now I can install this exact same ROM on my OnePlus 6, OnePlus 5, or any other phone that supports Project Treble. So basically, now developers don't have to customize code for each phone. You can have one custom ROM that could run on all Android devices. So that solves a huge amount of headaches, incompatibility, Bluetooth bugs, camera bugs. It's a great news. Now, for you to install these GSI generic system images on your phone, you would also have to unlock your bootloader. And if you have a phone that you can't unlock the bootloader, such as any of the US Snapdragon models of Galaxy phones, then you're out of luck. So what are the best phones that you can take advantage of this uh, with an unlock bootloader. Obviously all of the Pixel phones, like the Pixel 2, even the older Nexus phones, or the new Pixel 3 that's coming out. OnePlus is the only other company that has fully unlocked bootloaders and you don't void your warranty. Just like the Pixel phones, you don't void the warranty by unlocking the bootloader. This means when these phones are like five years old, six years old, you're gonna still be able to install all the new ROMs, all the new latest Android updates. When Android 15.0 Zebra comes out, I just made it up, <laughs> you'll be able to install it on any of these devices because it has Project Treble. So very awesome news and I just want to sort of break it down to you guys and I should have a full uh, installation guide for installing these GSI and basically you can use Twerp or you can use Fastboot and it's literally super easy. It's actually easier than installing a custom ROM. I'll have a universal guide on that soon and also I'll have a video on the Galaxy S9 running Android 9.0 soon. So watch out for that. That should be in the next few days. Anyway, have a great day guys. I hope you guys learned something new. Project Treble is gonna really simplify things and you guys gonna be able to flash ROMs on all of your devices in the future. Have a great day and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.